find yourself sitting in the lap of a stranger or us picking you up off the floor. Crossing from one train car to the next is not allowed. The car you are in currently is the car you must remain in. The little metal bridge or apron that runs between the cars all of the back black back to my door. It's only being held in by one hand. I personally would have installed two or three, but they did not ask me. Please be careful around the doors and the windows. The rocking motion of the train, as well as the wind, will call them, cause them to close quickly on your fingers and toes. There are viewing docks located at the end of each train car. Once the conductor gives me the okay, we will open those decks for you to enjoy. Anyone under the age of 16 is required to be accompanied by a responsible adult. Now that we have all of the important information out of the way, it's time for the fun part. Welcome aboard this railway built of gold. I am April Dawn. I am going to be your narrator for this trip. Joining me today are your two roaming tour guides, Kat and Chandler. If you have not met them yet, they will be by shortly to introduce themselves. They're there to answer any questions that you may have along the way. We hope to share with you the history of this amazing railroad, some interesting stories, and some fun facts. Our crew today is Brakeman Zoe Gardner. Your conductor is John Hillier. And at the front of our train in the locomotive 3008 is our engineer, Mr. J.T. Thomas. We are all excited to share with you our little piece of heaven. There are many train rides around the world, but few compare to the amazingly stunning and spectacular scenery that you will see here today. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Historical spots along the way. 
Don't worry, if you're on the wrong side of the train going up, you will be on the perfect side going down. I will point out all those important spots again on our way back down the mountain. You will find in the back inside page of your All Aboard magazine a map of our train route. We will be traveling 20.4 miles up to the summit. On the left, you can see our maintenance shop and our dispatch shop. Our railroad has a total of 83 coach cars currently in use, with 13 diesel electric locomotives. This narrow gauge railway is the busiest tourist railroad in the country. Our rail yard shop crew works 21 hours a day to keep this fleet moving. The average age of each train car is 44 years old, the oldest of which is number 244, the Lake Emerald. It was built in 1883. We are approaching Skyway's Gold Rush Cemetery. This will be on the right hand side of the train. Life in Skyway during the Gold Rush was dangerous. If you survived the harsh white ass trail, the disease and foul play was waiting to take you out back in Skyway. The cemetery's most prominent markers belong to Frank Reed, the town hero, while the villain, Jefferson Randolph Smith, lies just within his view on the outskirts of the cemetery.
are sent through this beautiful valley, carved by glaciers thousands of years ago. We will travel through a section of the Tongass National Forest. The lush greenery of the Tongass National Forest spans 500 miles of southeast Alaska. From comprising the largest intact temperate rainforest in the world, where towering mountains sweep down into thick old grown forest and granite cliffs drop deep into the forge. At roughly the size of West Virginia, it is also the largest national forest in the U.S. and home to approximately 70,000 people living in 32 communities, including the state capital of Juneau. Salmon and trout thrive and spawn in the streams. Brown grizzly bears, bald eagles, wolves, porcupines, and moose roam the forest. The mountain goats and doll sheep climb along the steep, rocky cliffs. However, the noise of our train commonly sends them into hiding. The trees around are fir, hemlock, birch, cottonwood, pine, and spruce, of which the Sitka spruce. This is by far the largest species of all the spruce trees. The Clinket tribe used this tree for many things, including making tea and ale from the new growth tips of the tree, which contain vitamin C. Back in town, a lot of our local breweries host a Sitka spruce ale, which is quite tasty.